Mr. Salami. Uh, they call me Boo Boo. I was raised over here in San Jose. I'm 18 now. And first time I got locked up in juvenile hall when I was like nine years old for a deadly weapon charge. They only kept me there for a week. I was crying because I was little. I thought it was cool, but stupid. It's a stupid thing to do. And then the second time I got locked up was for not going to school, which is stupid because now I can't go back to school. The second time they kept me there for like two weeks and I was released on house arrest. And you went to school? In juvenile Hall, we went to school. It's called the Osborne School. And it's like to get your GED or high school diploma, you graduate in there. Third time I got locked up was for being drunk in public, supposedly. And I was in there for one day. They didn't know why I was locked up, so they just released me. The last time I was locked up was for two months. And I was in there, I was like in the older unit, so like the staff were like messed up. So all the kids in there, they were throwing apples, oranges, milk cartons, orange juice at people. And like just the mentally challenged to like call them names and all that. Call them like Cottonhead, Fat Ass. I was released on January 24th. And now I'm off probation. So right now I'm clean. And I'm trying to look for a job. I don't know if I can. First generation of America. My parents are from Samoa and uh, we grew up, pretty big family, five kids. Well, when I was 15 years old, uh, walking down uh, Sunnyvale streets, uh, patrol officers surrounded me and their vehicles put me at gunpoint, uh, went through following procedures with uh, getting into the arrest position and they put the muzzle to my head I got down on the floor and just I was just scared shitless and I almost shit my pants but why, why do you think that because you were 15 they did that well everyone always told me that I was a big fella so I think it was all profiling because I was this big ass human being walking down the street. Yes, they do profile Samoans, just the fact that they fear us. So well, that's what I think. Why would they fear you? They well, have more power with the bag. We're fucking big. Hmm. We're just intimidated. Or they're intimidated by us being one of the biggest humans. Look at me, I'm only 23 years old. I looked like this when I was 15 years old. What I needed was ways to turn my life around. Was, um, needed an outreach on like different programs that uh, actually the hall provided for me. I uh, went to a rehabilitation program uh, one that was located in Gilroy in the middle of fucking nowhere, but you know uh, The whole shit was on lockdown couldn't break out Alarm set off if you tried But uh, the counselors there man, they really helped out And that was like back in uh, 2004 or something 2003 But I think that uh, one of those Were like the biggest steps of my life uh, really turned it around for me, so I took that and embraced it all. Um, what the hall taught me was really, I don't think it taught me nothing because all you did was shit, sleep, and eat with other fucking guys, and that wasn't nothing that taught me nothing. And, uh, my probation officer, he was a cool cat, very lenient. At times was a dick though. He, you know, always try to keep me in place. But you know, he kind of did. 
but I think most of it was that program I went to. So, uh, yeah, he was not much of help, but he was help. Um, what could have been different with the outcome was uh, somebody actually being a mentor, like actually being there for me, shoulder to lean on. Uh, not just somebody that I actually had to uh, report to or have to uh, be looked down on on like uh, what I'm doing was wrong or right but yeah I think uh, if they have better mentors I think it would have been good and yeah that's about it. Juvenile system sucks.